And now, I'd like to close this morning's session with the story of another organization that completely understands this. While Apple dominates the industries they're in, this company completely owns their industry. They are so good, they have no competition. Their story begins with a young man in search of his destiny. Now, none of us knows how or where we will discover our destiny. Some of us find it literally on the street. That's where Guy Le Liberté found his. Touring Europe as an 18-year-old, he fell in love with the heritage of the European circus and the traditions of street performers. And when he arrived back in his native Quebec, he found other performers whose passion for performance burned like his. Acrobats, clowns, fire breathers, puppeteers, silt walkers, all living and working in the tiny village of Bay St. Paul, earning just enough to get by. Now, a 56-mile stilt walking stunt earned the media attention and a small government grant with which they began a small street performers festival, which led to the founding of a tiny homegrown circus. Now, these kids were doing this mostly in the summer, and they loved the sun, and it inspired to call their little endeavor Cirque du Soleil. I think that we were just trying to have a job. Yeah, she, she, she we, were, we, are, we were on the street yeah. and we were trying to have a job out of... It is a circus without animals, using clowns and aerial acrobats, and it's a huge hit in Quebec, but it fails on its first trip out of the province. But undaunted by this brush with bankruptcy, they reinvent, and their next production, La Magie Continue, is a huge success in Quebec and Toronto, and word starts to spread. Now, just one year later, young Guy Le Liberté decides to gamble their entire future on one moment. The chance to perform at the Los Angeles Arts Festival. Now listen to this description of a visionary. A lot of people don't realize that when Cirque came to America, by the time we booked it, it would have been way too expensive for us to spend all the money at the festival to bring them. So the deal was it would give them the premier slot, they would front the cash to come, and then the ticket revenue would flow directly to them. Um, and I think most people don't realize that all the money to bring it down, all that money was spent by, by Guy. The Guy had to commit to do that, um, which is fantastic, really. But with that fantastic risk, has gone this sensational reward. And I don't think anyone today thinks he made the wrong decision. Oh, no. Thus began Cirque du Soleil's world domination of the human imagination. They turned the circus into theater. By not needing the dirt floor required for animals, they were able to transfer, transform that uh, dirt floor into a stage. They were able to transform athletes into artists, and they created incredible magical worlds on that stage, and never before seen characters with their costume and makeup, and they completely changed the circus to the point we should invent a new word for the magic they produce. Here's some examples from their several shows in Vegas.
not like any circus I've ever seen. So, what are the marks of this company's success? Well, again, innovation is the key. Everybody who works for this organization is challenged to innovate constantly. Whether you build those incredible structures for the trapezes, or you work front of house, or you fix a wig, or you sew a costume, no matter what you do, you have to be dedicated constantly to innovation. And here's an example of constantly. Sylvie Frachette, the same famous Canadian swimmer, when she joined the cast of O, was amazed to find that after every performance, the cast and crew gather in the theater to talk about what went right and what could use improvement, what could use reinvention, innovation. And that is after 10,000 performances. This is a company that will never rest on its laurels. I believe the mountain we want to climb is higher than what we achieve now. And higher in a sense of not what we achieve in terms of shows or success, box office success. I think it will, it will be in how you achieve uh, how to deal in a very nice way, in a very good way, uh, with the success and the power that we have today. So, what will be the ultimate mark of Cirque du Soleil? I believe it's this. Inside every one of us, there lives a child. And our sense of wonder may be stifled, our innocence shackled, and our dreams stomped on, but that child does not die. And when Cirque du Soleil takes to the stage, that child emerges, it comes out to play, and we all come face to face with the magic of being human. It's amazing. I think the people has to be in charge of their own happiness. The only thing we could do is really to try to, uh, to reveal to them, to, to offer them a different interpretation of uh, uh, the, the life and the emotions, to be, uh, then they are themselves able to, to find their way to happiness. It seems pretty limitless to me what they can invent, what they can sort of brand in the same way that other great um, uh, minds like a Walt Disney, other people who invent can keep recreating and recreating. I would hope and I imagine that that will be the saga of uh, Cirque du Soleil when we look back maybe 50 years from now. What will be your saga when they look back on the sales team of Janssen Canada 50 years from now? What will be your legacy? Well, answering that is why we're here. What Bannister and his team, the hundreds of thousands of people at Apple, and everyone flying through the air in Cirque du Soleil, all understood, is that creating an awesome legacy is ultimately about a leadership journey. It's a journey, not a destination. Like the roller coaster, it has its ups and downs. But if you have an attitude that says, I'm going to use all of my talents to the best of my ability every day to deliver something awesome, and I'm going to help my colleagues to do the same in any way I can, then you'll succeed. Today, you're going to spend time on the talent development part of your journey. I'll join you again later at the end of the day to close with a final story. And in the meantime, I wish you an awesome day. Thank you. Excellent. Good job. Uh, some great inspiring stories of awesomeness, of leadership, of taking uh, opportunities of, uh, or taking examples of, of opportunities. I really loved the uh, multimedia aspect of the story.